Right, we're in the sitting room now. Slightly different installation as it's got underfloor heating and an anhydrate floor. We're going to be using specialised flooring products from Floorwise, including underlay, gripper and adhesives. So what I'm doing now is cutting the gripper up into small sticks. Like that. So when it comes to sticking them, the adhesive just holds a small area rather than trying to hold a whole stick with the unevenness of the floor. And then I'll show you how to fit them. Right, so what we're going to do now is prime the floor. We're going to use the floor-wise spray adhesive. I'm going to start at the door here and work my way around the room. And this just acts as a primer and gets rid of any other small dust, which might prevent the glue from sticking. So now we've primed the floor with the spray adhesive, we're going to use the floor wise fast set PU adhesive. So any gun, put it in the applicator and a nice thin bead up close to the skirting where you're going to stick the gripper. Just run that along there like that. Stop there. Start laying, pushing your grippers into the adhesive, give it a little wiggle. Get a nice neat edge along there. This is going to take about an hour to go off. We should be able to stretch on it. Then. Right, we're back in the sitting room. The carpet gripper adhesive's gone off. Now we're going to fit the Thermoflow underlay. So what we have here is an anhydrate floor with an underfloor heating system. Solution is that we use the Thermoflow underlay with a 0.79 TOG rating. What this is going to do is it's going to allow the heat through the floor, through the underlay, into the carpet and then into the room. Right, so now we've got the underlay down. It's heavy enough to hold everything in place. So for peace of mind, I'm gonna take the joints. That's it, now we're going to get the carpet. Following the same installation technique shown in the master version video, we measured, laid out, cut and stretch fit the carpet into place. 